See how St. Luke's is promoting health and wellness in the youth of our community. The Healthy Kids Summer Camp Program is a six-week camp we created for the students um, at an Allentown Elementary School and a Bethlehem Elementary School. It's great having a community partnership with St. Luke's and having them offer this program to the students over the summer. We don't have a lot of programs over the summer for students. We offer a lot during the school year, but our resources are limited during the summer, so it's nice for them to have an opportunity to get out of the house, come have some fun with their friends, and learn something at the same time. It's for the third graders and they get to participate in physical activity, nutrition and health curriculum, garden activities, and some mindfulness and yoga. Camp is a great opportunity for me to engage with the kids and show them how to grow their own food. So we go into the garden, we see if it needs watering, we, I teach them how to harvest the vegetables and also a little bit about how to like diagno diagnose if the plants are looking good, if they need some help, um, the kids learn different ways to prepare the food too. If they ask, well, how am I supposed to eat this? So I can kind of tell them what to do. You know, it gets tougher as you get older to make these healthy choices and to know what a healthy choice is. So this is giving them the kind of route to make their own choices and to kind of help them, set them up for a healthy lifestyle. It's great to have St. Luke's with us and partnering together to kind of really get to these kids at a young age and also get to their parents in the community just to let people know, you know, this is a group effort to kind of educate children and have that education transfer into the rest of their lives. St. Luke's mission is to improve the access to care um, regardless of the ability to pay. Other programming St. Luke's has for the community is the Tail on the Trail program. We also have the Walk with a Doc program and the Bethlehem Bike Share program. There's access to nutrition and cooking classes and opportunities for the community to get involved in healthy living and eating. I love it. That like That's the, the sweet spot. That's what it's all about. Just to seeing them motivated, exciting, and realizing, wow, this is where my food comes from. This is what it looks like in the beginning. So it's just great. I would love to see this program continue in future years. I would love to have more students involved. Now that we've tried it out and we see how much they love it, we'd love to have more students participating. I think it would also be a great program across the Allentown School District. This entire program, working with St. Luke's, you know, being an Allentown School District, it's great to see the community giving back to the schools. It's great to have the school here open for the students over the summer that they have a nice, safe place. They're familiar with our school. It's one of the places that they call home, and now they're becoming familiar with the community as well. And it's great to see them having all these enriching opportunities. Healthy kids! Joining me in the studio is John Health, the Senior Director for Sports Medicine at St. Luke's University Health Network. John, thanks for being here. Mike, pleasure to be here. Why is it so important for kids to be outside? Well, one of the biggest issues that we have today is a, a growing epidemic of obesity, childhood obesity, nearly 30% or more than 30% of children. So one of the things that we've tried to do at the network is engage initiatives that are going to get children out of the house, uh, having fun, uh, doing things that are going to keep them physically active. How does childhood obesity mirror uh, the obesity uh, in adults? Well, there's a direct correlation and, and uh, actually some of the diseases that we see today uh, that we wouldn't have seen until the fourth, fifth, sixth decade in life we're seeing in children that are only in the second decade. So children that are 12, 13 years old, 14 years old, uh, starting to encounter some of those conditions that we wouldn't have seen until much later on in life. And is it true that uh, once uh, in childhood they are obese, that pretty much it's going to continue like that uh, unless you get involved uh, for the rest of their lives? Well, a lot of this is, is, a, uh, is a behavioral uh, epidemic. So what you practice when you're young, uh, you'll continue to practice as you get older. So it's habit forming. If they don't exercise now, if they don't find something that they enjoy doing, uh, the likelihood that they will pick it up later in life is not very good. So 
looking for different things that we can do to get them engaged, having fun, uh, whether it's a competitive sport or recreational activities like hiking. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Helping each individual, each child find something that they enjoy doing. All right. The word is get outside, exercise, uh, have a good time, and maybe not sit on the couch for four hours playing those video games. Yeah, and it's cumulative too, so it can be in shorter spurts, but the bottom line is to get out and try and get you know 60 minutes of activity every day uh, outside of the house, physically active, you know, get the muscles working, get the heart pumping, have some fun with others, or get out and have some quiet time alone, but get exercising. And by doing this, we can prevent a lot of problems uh, later on when they hit uh, the uh, adult stage of life. Well, there's, a, there's a saying out there, Mike, exercise is medicine. So uh, between our sports medicine team and our community health colleagues, what we're trying to do is trying to find many different ways that we can help children get engaged in physical activity, eat healthier, and live longer lives. John, why is St. Luke so concerned about preventative medicine? Well, more and more in healthcare, really, the, the initiatives are about preventing disease, trying to minimize the amount that we have to treat, being value-based, keeping people out of hospitals, keeping them out of the physician offices. So at St. Luke's, what we're trying to do is engage initiatives that will actually attack this problem right at the root. And as you mentioned earlier, uh, exercise and uh, prevention is great medicine. And by doing all the things that you suggested, uh, maybe they won't have to take all that medicine later on in life. Absolutely. Exercise is the best medicine. So all of the things that it can do for us, in addition to helping us maintain you know, a healthy weight, all of the other things that it does for our cardiovascular system and all of the systems in the body. And even in terms of helping them think better in school, there's great research out there that supports this. So the effort at St. Luke's is to help kids find ways to get physically active, have fun, be better in school, and live longer lives. John, keep up the great work and uh, keep fighting to keep all those kids healthy. Thank you, Mike. For more information on St. Luke's University Health Network or anything on today's show, go to our website, thepeaktv.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. And remember, every day is your chance to be your best self. This is The Peak. Hi, I'm Dylan from ASR. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos.